Hi, welcome to this iOS 7 programming tutorial. Today we are going to cover how to implement navigation in our table view app from last tutorial. So in order to do that, first let's go ahead and open that project. So go to Xcode, file, open. I'm going to go ahead and find it. here and here we are if you remember we basically just made a couple rows that display information about different consoles and their companies with an image so the first thing we have to do is make a new file so that's going to be subclass of UI view controller. We're going to name it console detail view controller. Let's put it here. Now go to main storyboard and add a view controller from the object library, which is here and we are going to link it to the new class we've created, the console detail view controller like that now in order to implement navigation in our app we need a navigation view controller this is very easy and we've done it already in our tutorial how to use storyboards so just go ahead and click in here editor embed in navigation controller and this will basically just do this add a navigation controller to the left of our view controller now we need to create a seg between this view controller and the detail view controller so just click control click here oh sorry no I don't want to do that control click on the so let's just make it push and remember we have to specify a, an identifier and in this case we are going to use um, so console detail enter again if you are unsure on how to do these steps we've done them already in the how to use storyboards tutorial now, if you notice, uh, in the upper section of our views, there's something that's like a toolbar. So we're going to change the title. It's going to be console, and this is actually consoles it's better. And this will be console details. This is just nice to have in there now we are going to implement our detail view here so open the assistant editor go to detail view controller and first let's design the storyboard here so we're going to need a couple labels one here for example one below another one to the right like here extend here and another one exactly the same at the same height there and finally we need a image view that we're going to just throw in the center of the screen so actually put this there aligned with the image view Make it a bit bigger, just make it square, so go to 240. And this will also be aligned with the image view. There we go. Now this will be the 
console and this will be the company now we need remember we need to implement this in the class so control click oh sorry yeah control click drag here we're gonna name it um, console label control click uh, drag um, company label and finally image view um, also we're going to need a way to store the information that's going to be displayed in here so in order to do that we're just going to create an NS array uh, this is going to be property strong anatomic NS array pointer we're gonna name it console detail model and with this we've already implemented our header file now let's go to the implementation file the way to no actually yeah the way to transmit information between different views, in this case between this one and this one, is through a method called prepare for seg. So I go to the table view controller.m file and in here we're going to create a new void method, prepare for seg, just press tab. And we're going to say uh, if <coughs> seg identifier is equal to string in this case so console detail if I remember correctly then console detail view controller Oh, sorry, we have to remember to import our header file here. That's why it wasn't out of filling that. Console, there we go. Usually, if Xcode is not out of filling something, means you're. It's usually going to mean you're doing something wrong. Uh, console DVC equals seg destination view controller then ns index path this is just necessary in to know what uh, what row we are pressing in the table view ns my index path equals <coughs> self table view index path for selected row long row let's put in a, in a long my index path row and finally console dvc dot console detail model this is just the array we just created equals console names row the first element will be the name console companies the second will be the company name row and finally so images the name of our for image in this case all right now the only thing we have left to do is go to the implementation file here and in the view did load set console label dot text equals console detail model 
0, so the first element, which was the name, console, sorry, a uh, company label text, console detail model, second element, and finally image view dot image equals UI image image name so detail model number two so the third element in there all right let's see if this works compiled it runs which is always good let's see and as you can see it's showing the image the console name and the company very well see the back button in here that's automatically implemented for us um, that's gonna be it for this tutorial uh, thank you very much for watching also if you guys I'm starting to work with Android so if you guys are interested in me putting some Android tutorials like I'm doing with iOS just uh, put some comments and some likes in there and I'll I'll be happy to do them. Thank you and bye.